And as we were talking about, this is the eve of the historic launch of Apollo 11 on July 16, 1969. And at 11.32 a.m. that day, millions of people around the world were glued to television sets and heard famous words from uh, a famous person who we are very proud to uh, have with us today. The uh, voice of Apollo, the man uh, whose clear and distinct call of launch uh, resounds within our heads still today. I'd like to uh, welcome Jack King. Hello, Jack. It's hey. a pleasure. Well, thank you, Mike. It's a pleasure to be here. We are really, uh, really looking forward to uh, talking to you about what, uh, what was going on 40 years and one day ago. Um, you were in a firing room here in the Launch Control Center at Kennedy Space Center. Do you? Uh, That's right. We're in firing yeah. room four today. Well, we were in firing room one in more Spartan conditions than the plush atmosphere you have here in firing room four. But nevertheless, we were in firing room one, which now, of course, has been converted for the, uh, uh, for the upcoming programs. Uh, actually, in, that, in the room and in the support room, we had uh, 435 people, actually, in there to conduct that final countdown. And interestingly enough, to show you how things have changed, there were 434 men and one woman and the woman was Joanne Morgan. Uh, Joanne was manning a console, so to speak, and she, uh, she had an outstanding career here at the Kennedy Space Center and, of course, just retired about a couple of years ago, as I recall. Yeah, we remember so, Joanne. So that was the atmosphere at, at the time. The, uh, uh, the uh, major effort uh, with the Saturn V rocket, which had three, three liquid fuel stages, and uh, and an instrument unit, and then the Apollo spacecraft and lunar module atop that. It was really a majestic rocket that just sort of tapered from the bottom to the top, and particularly when it was sitting out there in the, in the uh, floodlights at the launch pad, just glowing. It was quite a sight. Well, the, uh, the, major, the major effort, as I said, over the last, last uh, nine hours was the propellant loading, loading those thousands of pounds of liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen in the stages, just as we do today. This was our sixth Saturn V launch, and so, in a sense, it wasn't new to us in that sense. And among the key people in the back rows, it was the same familiar faces, and they were doing the same familiar things during those nine hours uh, that the countdown was proceeding. But inside all of us, we knew that there was something different on this day, without any question. As it turns out, the uh, Apollo 11 countdown was probably the smoothest countdown we ever ran. Uh, we only had two minor problems during the course of the count. One was the faulty communications light on a panel, and the second one was a small leak in a liquid hydrogen vent valve on the third stage of the Saturn V. That sounds familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, that, that was the situation. Uh, we fixed those two problems without any, without any sweat whatsoever. Uh, at times in the count, we were 10 or 15 minutes ahead. When dawn broke that morning, it turned out to be a beautiful, beautiful morning for a flight to the moon. There was hardly a cloud in the sky and a temperature of 85 degrees. Shortly thereafter, the Apollo 11 crew, Neil Armstrong, Mike Collins, and Buzz Aldrin crossed swing arm number nine right up there at the top and entered the uh, Apollo uh, command module, settled in, and went through a number of the routines that the astronauts do today. There were comm checks and switchlets checks and the various things as they prepare for launch. So they were settled down and everything continued to click down. When we got to the final moments of the countdown, however, the atmosphere in the control room was electric. I uh, can only imagine. It really was because you, you, could, really, you could really feel it. Because to all, to all of us, uh, we realized uh, what was riding on this mission without any question. And for us, it really was a moment of truth to be followed four days later by a moment of triumph when Neil put his foot on the moon. And sure enough, we clicked down and hit it right at the appointed time of 9.32 a.m. 9.32 a.m. And uh, the liftoff was beautiful. Uh, as different from the shuttle, when I would finish the countdown commentary and say liftoff, which was the final thing, the final moments were over the last 10 seconds of the count, you started to uh, light the five engines in the Saturn V stage at the nine minute, 8.9 second mark in the countdown. 
and it took that amount of time to build up the seven and a half million pounds of thrust that's required for liftoff. So count that and then zero. The next cue would be all engines running, and we had a whole status board in the, in the firing room. And the final command would be commit, which would tell those five swing arms, giant swing arms that were still attached to the rocket at that time, to pull back and hold down arms, release the hold down arms uh, in order to let the, let the vehicle free. But unlike the shuttle, when I would say lift off, I would look from your position right here over the window and look out at launch pad A. And as you know, the shuttle is going 100 miles an hour by the time it clears the tower. With the Saturn V, that magnificent rocket just sat there in a bed of flames. It seemed like an eternity, and then finally it started to rise. It actually took seven seconds just to clear the tower. So wow. it turned out to be a perfect, uh, a perfect launch, and I'm, I'm very proud uh, today to be here, have the opportunity to represent the outstanding launch team that conducted that historic mission. Well, it really and truly is an honor to have you here, Jack. And, and not only are you a, a part of our history, but you are part of our present. You're still working hard here at Kennedy Space Center for United Space Alliance. And we are uh, very glad that you're here and, and still with us. Well, thank you very much. And I, well, I always say these guys keep me young out here. So it's great to be working with them. It's still a great team, just as it was 40 years ago. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Jack. My Jack pleasure. Kent. My pleasure, Mike.